everybody this is Tracy with a view from Tracy's point and this is going to be a quick video about a show that I stumbled upon the other night and it was called my kitchen rules and I was flipping channels and I came you know onto Fox and saw Brandy and Ray J and they were like in the kitchen I was like okay well what is this so it turns out that it's this cooking show and it may um, come on somewhere else but it was the first time I had ever heard of it or seen the show and basically they get these celebrities and they're paired together with like a family member, spouse or friend and they host a dinner party where they cook the food and then there's um, two guest um, master chefs that um, help judge the competition. And so Brandy and Ray J, they were first up. Oh, and the, the celebrity chefs are um, Curtis Stone and Kat Cora. So, you know, they're like the host, I guess, of the show. So anyway, the show starts out with Brandy and Ray J, as I already said. And they're going to cook this meal. And you cook the meal at your house. You invite these people over. And then each, um, each couple or each pairing or team they get to rate the um the meal and the presentation and everything and i think they can give it up to 10 points and then the two chefs they get like double the points that they can rate the meal on it was hilarious i thought well not really hilarious hilarious but kind of stupid hilarious because Brandy and Ray J were in that kitchen and I'm going to tell you one thing I can't stand is somebody being in the kitchen when I'm trying to cook and they're just like talking and everything and not being a help and Ray J was definitely getting on my nerves and at one point he even spit in the sink he was making some cabbage you know Brandy had finally put her foot down and told me though know, he needed to help her get out so that he was cooking this um, red cabbage and he tasted the cabbage and I guess it was bitter and didn't taste good. And then he gonna spit the cabbage out into the um, kitchen sink. I was like, boy, you are so nasty. What is wrong with you? So their dish was their appetizer was supposed to have been um, bacon wrap prawn, prawn, prawns, prawns. You know, it's the real big shrimp. So they didn't know that they were supposed to grill the um the bacon wrap shrimp or you know so that the bacon would be fully cooked and crispy they put the stuff in the oven so y'all know that was a disaster and then they were supposed to be making some brandy um infused um juice i can't think of what what to call it so anyway it was supposed to go over the um the prawns so I, that didn't work out too well and then also when they were like taking the food out of the grocery bags they had these um craft you know the craft marinades and dressings and stuff and i was just like how are you in a cooking competition and you get ready to use stuff that you done bought off the shelf like i know that's going to count against you and in the end it did count against them so Nobody really liked the um, the bacon wrap um, prawns because it was totally cooked wrong. But then they did short ribs and like I said, the red cabbage and rice and that was a big hit. And so out of I think with the other with the other teams they could have gotten a maximum of 40 points and they got 26 out of 40 points and then when the master chefs threw in their points i think they ended up with like a total score of 49 out of 80 was the, the total number so that wasn't good so then some of the other um teams that are on the show is um Brandy Glanville from Real Housewives of Orange County and then the ex-husband of is it Leanne Rhymes that Brandy's husband ran off with um yeah I think it was Leanne Rhymes ex-husband and then it was um name Naomi Judd and her husband um Andrew Dice Clay and his wife and then um Lance Bass you know from um that boy group that Justin Timberlake used to be in, um, NSYNC, was it NSYNC? Yeah, him and his mom. And so they were the second um, team to compete because I think after all the teams compete, then the one with the lowest score is going to be eliminated from the show. So their appetizer was shrimp and grits. 
And honey, let me tell you something, that shrimp and grits, <laughs> the grits usually have like a little gravy over it, but they put so much cheese in these doggone grits that it should have been called um, cheese and grits instead of grits and cheese. But their presentation was really nice. And then their main course was um, chicken and waffles. So they were like having a hard time cooking them damn waffles, but they finally got the um, plates done up. And like I said, their presentation, I think, helped a lot because, you know, if the food looked good, you may think it tastes better than it really was. Whereas if the plate was messy, then they definitely would have called them out for having, you know, bad food. And so in the end, they ended up with a score of 54 out of 80. So, of course, that knocks Brandy and Ray J into last place. But that dog on Brandy Glanville, she was getting on my nerves. She was talking about everybody. She was going to people's houses, snooping in their rooms and stuff. Like she claimed she was looking for the bathroom in um, Lance and his mom's house. And she ended up in this other room where he keeps all like his trophies and awards and like the bobbleheads that were made. You know, like memorabilia from his singing career. And she goes back and tell her partner, you know, oh, like he has a shrine to himself. And it was really creepy. And she just dogged out Ray J and Brandy. You know, she didn't like any of their food. I think they gave them like a, like a five or six, you know, but you can tell that they're going to rate everybody low because they want to win. But like I said, she talked about everybody. She didn't like anybody's food. And I just can't wait until it's her time. And I hope they dog her out. But I'm thinking she probably won't be the first couple to leave because they need the drama for the show. But I also hope that Brandy and um, Ray J don't leave either. So like I said, it was going to be a quick video. And um, next week, I'll pay closer attention so I can do a full recap. But until then, have a great weekend. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm not